What's up everybody, Surf and Silver here, I am back. I wanted to make a quick video to talk about some of these ancient gold coins that exist out there because I really want you guys to know that there are some awesome purchases that exist and they are pretty attainable I would say. But once you get down into the 1800s, you're always going to be looking at a pretty sizable chunk of money. But I would say that when you see something that's priced a little bit higher, I would check it in the blue book because it could be something that is incredibly low mintage and it is something that you should be spending your money on. Now I've come to realize that mintage really does tie into what I feel like should be first i don't know why i do feel like if you're building a massive collection over your lifetime you should try to get the hardest things first i think that is the most important thing that has translated to me from other people that have collected get the hardest things out of the way first the most expensive things the hardest things and then work on the things that are you know current year 2020 2021 two three type thing and i think that that really does translate very well and it lets you build your stack in a way where the hardest things that are only going to grow and be harder and harder and harder to get, it's just very hard to realize that what you're supposed to get. So I figured I would make a quick video and to tell you guys that anytime you're at your local coin shop and you have the ability to look through the catalog and say you're looking for a quarter eagle and he has it there for around $600 or whatever because that's what mine sells him for around five six depending on what year it is and mintage and such and now just take a quick video of the selection so that you could browse back through it and go back home and sit on it think about it and open the blue book up or uh yeah whatever catalog that you use there's only one other one and i can't think of the name of it right now but the gray sheet the gray sheet and the blue book are really the only two things that i would look at for coin prices but I would go back home, this is what I do, and just sit there and think about the dates that he has right at that moment and pop the, pop the blue book out and look for some low mintage coins because that is really the best way to uh, spend at any given moment, I would say. You know, if you're really looking to uh, up the stack and get some gold, there's a lot of coins out there to buy and it can definitely be confusing. And uh, that's why I wanted to make this video because my method of you know just sitting on it for a day or two and uh, popping the blue book out it really does save me a lot of stress purchases because technically I don't stress over any purchase but at the same time I realize that at certain times I should be buying certain things rather than other things and lately I've realized that you can't go wrong with buying some ancient gold and I really like building my gold stack at this point i think that there's nothing you really couldn't go better at any point in time than to buy a piece of gold at the same time i've also realized that if you want something from the current year it's also not a bad idea to get it as well it's just easy to get out of hand and recently even i went on like a spending spree if you will of my savings and uh all of those coins that i got these two blue i have a lot of things to show you guys and uh they are just key date beautiful add to my collection and never sell them type coins and uh yeah those are the type of coins that i'd say you just can't go wrong buying even if it uh stresses the finances just a bit because after these moments where i see oh you know i just went and bought a bunch of stuff i take a major hiatus and build my savings back up and boom right back to where we were it's just i guess about having some level of control even if you want to go on a nice spending spree you know figuring out when a good time to stop is and uh figuring out when a good time to just not buy anything <laughs> because with this collection and with this uh habit and with this it's not a habit it's a uh i'm trying to think of the word but i can't think of it right now with this hobby it is incredibly easy to uh, throw your finances out of whack for the metals because they're so beautiful and it does feel like you really only want to own them but at the same time it's very important i would say to have a fine middle ground 
I don't want to make this too long, but I really hope you have a great rest of your day. And this, I would say, is an incredible method to buying gold in the current day and current market. Hope you have a good one, and I'll see you soon.